and having the wonderful experience of people embracing those choices. Oh, there are so many things. And I was a huge carnivore, grew up eating my way through the animal kingdom. But there now is a um, soy chicken that can make a chicken almondine, which has, a, it's a taste alike, and some people don't like those, I do, and it is absolutely delicious. It's roasted, it's covered in almonds, and it's just fabulous. My favorite vegan plant, anything to do with mushrooms. You put a mushroom on it, I, I love them. I love them as tea, I love them fricasseed, I love them in soups and stews, it's just, it's a, and you know, it's the closest thing to brain chemistry that is in the vegetable planet. Very, very close to brain chemistry. Those spores came from somewhere else and they landed here and they grew and I think they're a little message to us. Some messages are more uh, profound. The psilocybin mushroom is a little bit more profound, but any even regular mushrooms, when you take them, you're eating the earth. Honestly, animal welfare, animal rights, animal liberation, that's my life. Not to be self-serving, but I'm in the process, I'm starting a restaurant in Silver Lake called Little Pine, and we just, I think, perfected these vegan stuffed shells, because I was thinking like one of my favorite things when I was a little kid was like those big stuffed shells stuffed with ricotta, so we've done a vegan version of that, and they're so good I want to go eat them right now. Even, you know, it's winter vegetable couscous. Winter vegetable couscous. And what is it? Just describe it. What is it? It's couscous. It's got squash, garbanzo beans, I remember that, tomatoes, tomato sauce, harissa sauce. Yeah. She cooks it. And what advice would you give to a young actor? Uh, just gonna... I, I'm, I like black pepper garlic tofu. This, that's, we, that's, that's, that's it right there. And, and, my, and my son uh, never had, um, he's, he's born that way, he's 10 years old now, healthy, fully healthy, strong, intelligent, and never touched a dead animal. <laughs> Oh my God, there's so many dishes that I love. Um, a quiche, vegan quiche, I love it. It's only, you know, uh, um, uh, vegetables, I love it. A quiche. Oh, eggplant parmigiana. Ooh, why do you like that? Yum. I just love anything with cheese, basically. <laughs> it's a good excuse That's for a cheese. Good excuse. <laughs> <I'll take it. laughs> I do have a vegan shoe line coming out. December 10th, it'll be out, and um, David LaChapelle is shooting the campaign October 12th, so that should be fun. And uh, it's, they're just awesome. They're vegan, and they're high heels, and they're blue sight heels, and it's Baywatch. It's like, not Baywatch, it's like Malibu versus, uh, not versus, Malibu Central Pay. They're really beautiful, and I'm really proud of them. And Amelie Pouchard is a great designer, and she's very chic and cool. And, and it's going to be called? Pamela and Amelie Pichard. It's Amelie Pichard, Pamela. And then I have the Pammies, which are like the beach boots, the vegan beach boots that are made out of recycled electronics. Oh, yes, but my shoes are vegan. Yes. They're from Aldo, and there's no animal products at all in them. It's, it's you know, it's a material. I'm like, it's material. Cloth. I'm like, it's material. <laughs> Yeah, it's important. Michael Antonio also makes a great brand, but Aldo makes good ones too. 